One of the issues we have when applying effects to sound is what we call destructive and non-destructive effects. Yeah, and this goes back to uh, an issue that we were talking about earlier this week, which you know revolves around the difference between you know effects and processing. And so one of the ways that a digital audio workstation can actually handle effects is uh, on what we call an insert. And so what happens with inserted effects are that we have the source audio within insert an effect between that audio and the output of the digital audio workstation and what happens is you know we have our source audio it's affected by the effect and we hear the output but we can turn that effect on and off and then the source audio is actually left unaffected and of course doors might have a slightly different approach to that yeah so the other approach uh, is using processed effects and the interesting thing about these is they are then destructive of the audio we're working with so if we think about um, uh, processed effect the normal approach to those is that you know you'll have some audio in a region you'll select some of it and then you'll apply the effect to that selected audio and the thing you'll notice in your digital audio workstation is when you apply the effect the actual waveform of the audio will change and so what that means is that you've actually then applied the effect to the original source audio so what we have are non-destructive effects where you use an insert on the sound you change the sound but you can always turn that effect off and destructive effects where when you apply a sound effect to the audio it's basically baked in and it's in there permanently. Yeah and a, an important thing you know we've been demonstrating some editing in Audacity for example the important thing to remember about Audacity is that the effects in Audacity are processed effects and so when you're applying those effects an easy trap for you know people starting out to fall into is that you open up a sound in Audacity you know, you then apply an effect to that sound and if you, ha you happen to then, you know, save that audio, you can actually, you know, overwrite your original source audio with this kind of affected audio and the new sound that you've created and thus you actually lose your original recording. So that's an important consideration for our learners because when they're applying a destructive effect in, say, Audacity, the effect is going to be baked in permanently.